Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your Valentine's Day special reading for love and romance for the weekend of, I'm starting it early, on the 14th, the Thursday through to Sunday, the 17th of February. So I went ahead and shuffled the cards and laid them out in a mini Celtic cross. So we will get to your reading right away. I want to wish you guys all a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend. So here we go. First of all, Scorpio, your overall energy is that of the lovers in the upright position. Followed then by Major Arcana, the death card in the upright position. Wow, intense. Right off the hop for Scorpio. Next card up is the Ten of Wands in reverse, followed then by the King of Swords upright. Next, we have Major Arcana of the World. And lastly, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read. You're like the third sign that's gotten the three uh, Major Arcana here. So, intense week for Scorpio. Weekend, sorry, weekend for Scorpio. So your overall energy for the weekend is that of the lovers in the upright position. This is the Gemini card. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and the lov lovers is all about, it represents making a choice, making a decision. It could be that this weekend, some Scorpios, if this is resonating for you, you'll know. If it's not, then you don't need to worry about it. But some Scorpios could be making a choice or a decision because we can choose to love, choose not to love. We can uh, choose to enter into a relationship and get serious about it. Uh, this can represent anything from e even a proposal. Perhaps some of you are asking someone to marry you or vice versa um, or asking to move in and make a serious commitment. Could be that going on for you guys this weekend. For others of you, you could just be making a choice, making a decision, a major decision here uh, about your love life. Maybe you're choosing, you've been single for a long time and you're choosing to want to get into a relationship. Maybe you've been involved for a long time and you're choosing to get out of relationship. So it's going to vary and be different for all of you, but that's what the overall energy is. And the crossing energy is that of uh, Major Arcana Death card in the upright position. This is the Scorpio card now. Perhaps some of you are involved with another Scorpio. And the Scorpio card is, or the death card rather, is all about transformation. Perhaps some of you are transforming. This is why I say it's pretty um, pretty intense that we have the, the lover's card here and the death card uh, around it because this is uh, a pretty huge impact. Some Scorpios could be making a major decision about their love life, could be transforming a, an existing relationship in a major way, could be ending a relationship, could be beginning a new relationship. But whatever it is, it's it's uh, happening in, in a very intense way. So um, maybe a lot of you are thinking very intently about your love life this weekend. It is Valentine's weekend. I guess it makes sense. Um, so you're either transforming a relationship or ending it or... Uh, you know, making a decision about something here. And it could be involving, like I said, another Scorpio or a Gemini, because so far I have those two energies around. So in your past, this could be in the past week or last week concerning love and romance. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. This can represent uh, letting go of our worries and our stress concerning uh, relationships. Maybe because a lot of Scorpios are on the brink of making a major decision about love and romance and they're dropping their worries about it. They've decided perhaps to not worry about the situation anymore. Just go ahead and do what you have to do because that's what the Scorpio does. <laughs> Once they've made up their mind about something, they just go ahead and, and uh, start implementing things. And it looks like there's strong urges around this weekend to make some kind of major changes. Now, coming right off the hop, right into the 14th, we have the energies of the King of Swords in the upright position. Again, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. It could be um, that this person is coming in and uh, wants to have a clarifying conversation with you, but if it's not representing this air sign, it could be you wanting to have a clarifying conversation with someone special in your life. Now, this could be you, it's right on Valentine's Day, maybe you're going out for dinner with somebody or and then going to end up having a great talk with them, but laying everything on the line. This is you being uh, completely upfront and very honest about the situation or someone doing that with you. 
Now, the next card you have up, heavy hitters here. Wow, we've got the world in the upright position. This is all about completion. This is about completing a cycle in the area of your life. And in this particular area, we are talking about love and romance. So this could be a major uh, closeout for some of you, closing out a long-term relationship. For others of you, you could just be um, closing out a long-term uh, of uh, a lot of years of single singlehood and perhaps you're bringing an end to that uh, situation for others of you you could be completing a cycle in an area or an aspect of your relationship whatever is going on it seems like again like i said it's very intense and it could just be coming internally from scorpio is putting that out there that they've made up their mind about something they're no longer going to worry about the situation and just going to take action and have clarifying conversations with whomever they need to, to clarify the conversation with and uh you know and make some major changes along those lines and the last card you have up is the seven of pentacles in the reverse position this is no longer reevaluating a situation like i said there's sort of uh, a lot of energy around of, of finality here where in terms of making a final decision about the love and romance department in that area of your life, Scorpio. You're no longer reevaluating a situation. It looks like you've made up your mind whether you're going to get into a relationship or leave a relationship or whatever it is you're going to do. It seems like um, a major weekend for you guys. So that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful Valentine's weekend and take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.